Good afternoon, everyone. NTV Chief Meteorologist Eddie Shear here, and this is our first vlog on now Hurricane Earl, which looks like it's going to be passing, I don't want to say near, but in the vicinity of southeastern Newfoundland, it looks like late this weekend and now into the early part of next week. So the forecast has slowed down just a bit. We'll jump into it right now. Where is Hurricane Earl? Still very far to our south, but now it is a hurricane. Last night was a tropical storm. Winds are now sustained 139 kilometers per hour, and the storm is moving just east of due north, at least. That's what it looks like here in the forecast track. And that movement to the north northeast will become more northeast over the next couple of days as it works its way towards the North Atlantic. As we look at the National Hurricane Center's forecast here, this is the five-day forecast going from now through early Monday morning. And as you can see, the storm is forecast to track to the east of Bermuda. And typically when storms track east of Bermuda, a landfall over the island of Newfoundland is much less likely than if they go to the west. In this case, the forecast isn't quite cut and dry, but it does look like a likely track right now is to the southeast and well southeast of the Avalon Peninsula. That being said, the forecast cone is now quite wide and does extend to parts of the southern shore as we are just on the fringe. Now, most computer model guidance does have the likely track of Earl kind of down the middle here, but we'll get to why it could be a little on the left side of that forecast track here in a second. Notice the S is here on the map, indicating strength by this time as it nears our waters. We're looking at a tropical storm or a post-tropical storm to be in the area. So we're not looking at a hurricane at that time, but it still could pack quite a punch. And when we look at the intensity forecast, it is forecast to uh, intensify to a Category 3, possibly Category 4 storm in the next 48 hours before rapidly losing strength as it moves north of the warm waters of the Gulf Stream. And by the time it gets to our neck of the woods, which is around our 144 here, our 156, it is forecast to be well within that tropical storm range, which is wind speed sustained below about 120 kilometers per hour. Now, will the wind speeds be below on the lower end of that scale or higher end? I'm inclined to think higher end because the storm is moving ra rather slowly as it approaches Newfoundland and Labrador, and the waters are quite warm. Uh, we're in the upper teens and low 20s, fairly close to our waters, which is, uh, may slow the decay of the storm, and our waters are considerably uh, warmer than normal. You see the anomalies here, the SST anomalies, three, four degrees above normal. So that may help to slow the degradation of the storm down quite a bit as it nears our water. So we'll see what that actually does. And the storm may also, also become extra tropical or post-tropical as it nears our waters, which would expand the wind field quite a bit as well. So whether that happens or not remains to be seen. Still certainly some questions in there. But going back to the National Hurricane Center forecast map here, Again, if it's anywhere kind of in the realm of the center part of the circle, the biggest impacts we're going to see, you know, maybe a little bit of rain, but more than likely gusty winds, you know, 60, 70 kilometers per hour, and that's if it's closer to us than farther, and nothing we haven't seen, you know, in earlier times of summer on nice days, and high seas and high waves. So those are kind of the two most likely impacts. Now, when you're looking at the likelihood of, a, of that farther west track, which I mentioned, and how likely is that to happen? What you're looking at here is the, the GEFS forecast tracks for Earl, which is one computer model that has several members, which we call an ensemble. And you run the computer model several times, in this case, I think it's 40 or 50 times, and you get a consensus on where the most likely track is, which is shown here by the black and the red line. So a likely track is well southeast of, of Newfoundland. But there are a, a good deal of lines, and you can see it here in the heat colors, you know, on the, on the north side of those consensus lines, and those consensus lines spread out quite a bit toward the latter part of the forecast. So there is some uncertainty to how close it's going to be to the Avalon Peninsula, but more than likely it's going to be a few hundred kilometers offshore. 
Uh, could it be closer? Absolutely. Is that likely at this time? In my estimation, no. But I'll be keeping a close eye uh, over the next couple of days, and we'll have certainly some more of these uh, blogs and vlogs as we do get closer to the, uh, to the passing of Hurricane Earl. But again, the most likely scenario with this is going to be some high wave heights. Here are the, the European forecast for waves. Uh, this is Saturday morning, 9.30. As we jump ahead to 3.30 in the afternoon on Saturday, we can see those wave heights building over southern and eastern Newfoundland. Um, we'll, sl we'll slide down here, which is 10 feet, which is roughly about 3 meters or so. And those high waves are, are going to be an issue for, it looks like, areas from around Bonavista Bay to potentially, to potentially Placentia Bay and the eastern side of the Avalon. We are going to get some high winds, or not, excuse me, some high wave heights and some onshore winds for a couple of days, which could certainly lead to some higher than normal high tides. Uh, storm surge is certainly a possibility and uh, damage to some coastal infrastructure, certainly a possibility. Uh, areas kind of like uh, Flat Rock and Pooch Club come to mind when it comes to that kind of stuff. And then the waves are gonna get a little bit less come Monday, but we're still looking at the potential for, you know, four or five meter waves very close to shore. Um, so that's something we're gonna to wanna to keep a close eye on as well. But, you know, insofar as the wind speeds are concerned, heavy rain is concerned, you know, is this gonna be like Larry? This point does not look like it. But we're going to keep a close eye on things over the next few days, and I'll have updates as needed. But that's kind of where we are right now. That's what I can tell you right now. Still a lot of questions that need to be answered. But uh, as of now, most likely impacts are still what I talked about last night. Some breezy conditions later Saturday into Sunday and some high waves near the eastern side of Newfoundland. That's it for now. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you shortly on NTV beginning at 530 with First Edition in the evening news hour, just after six o'clock.